All right, Wayne. Good morning, man. How you doing today? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I'm a little tired, you know, but I'm here. Thankful for another day. You woke me up, breathe life into me, breathe air into me. And uh, I get to be a provider, which is a beautiful thing. You know, I got three girls and a baby boy on the way. I don't know about y'all, anybody that's, that's married and working, it's crazy. Like, I enjoy giving my wife the day's pay. Like, it makes you feel, it's this feeling you get like, here you go, pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? I, all glory to God. Now, one thing you have to do, What's you've up? been doing, you know, it's been slow. Right. But you also got a house. You well, know. you said what been slow? The business. Oh, no, 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 no. Even Rans. during the rain? Oh, man. Rans, I've been, as soon as I turned on the Instagram ads, man, Jeez. I've been booked out, like, to the point to where I've been giving out details. Even in the rainy time, I've been doing details in the rain. I did one detail in the rain and it started, and a guy came out with a canopy and said, bro, you're one out of, like, I don't know you want to call it a thousand, a million, but most people would have went home, and he said, I seen you out here. Drink, bro, my whole outfit was wet, you guys. It was crazy. But I had to finish because my schedule was so crazy. If I didn't finish them then, I wouldn't have been able to get to them, you guys. So it's been like that. But the reason by why I've been working extremely hard is I just moved into my new house. All glory to God, as usual. That down payment and all that stuff, y'all know what I mean, y'all know what I mean. So I've been working that seven days, man. And um, I've been doing it with a big smile on my face. It, it feels good, it's an accomplishment. I destroyed my credit when I was younger and it's just a blessing to be able to be here. You know what I mean? We can't look at things on a time frame. Like I should have did this because everybody said at 25 I should be married. Everybody said I should have a house at this time. It's a lot of people that are grown men 30, 40, 50 years old, they don't even have their own car, own place. Like, there's no timing. Stop looking at time in the world. Focus on God and do things according to His will and His way. He has a plan for you. Other people got plans for you, and we need to block out that unless it's coming from God. You know what I'm saying? So, let me get that to you. All right, Wayne. Now, you've been working seven days for what? The last couple of weeks, the last couple of months? It's been about a cool. I would say three weeks going on four. And now you usually take Sundays and Mondays off. Right, right. But you're working hard, you got a lot of things going on. You know, you gotta pay a lot of things. Right. You gotta save up. But working that hard, right? Has it caught up to you or not yet? Do you feel burned out, frustrated, or just overwhelmed? I'm gonna be honest, I'm excited. I'm excited to drive and open up my garage. I'm excited that my wife gets to be in a bigger environment. I'm excited that we can pay our bills. So just me as a provider, I'm excited. You know what I mean? And eventually that excitement is gonna come down and we're gonna have to get back on track. So I don't plan on continually working like this. Um, it's just because the winter seasons, I may have to take a day off here and then another random day off here. So my schedule is winter time is out of, you know, it's not in, it's not in place. So. I gotta accommodate and work as much as possible. And even on those days that it's raining, I gotta go market. I gotta go fill the schedule up and prepare. You know, I gotta hit up those people with the shops and get in the shop and work. Or, you know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do. So Wayne, you're working a lot, man, cause you're putting a lot of work into it. There's a lot of youngsters out there. Right. They wanna go hard work. 24 seven, is that realistic? You know, cause sooner or later, you're gonna get burned out. You're gonna start making mistakes in your business. Right. You know, what do you think? What do you gotta tell them, Wayne? Some people, some people built like that. Yeah. Some people built like that, man. I mean, some, only one way to find out, right? Some people built like that and it's a lifestyle for them. Their drive and consistency. Like when it comes to working like that, I see my dad work like that, bro. He works like that 24 seven. He comes in the house, he talks with you and he goes, falls asleep like that while he's talking to you. Like this, falls asleep for a couple hours and then he gets up, he said, I got a side job I gotta get to. And he's been doing it since I can remember as a kid, bro. Yeah. And it's just his lifestyle, he's used to it. He's used to the cat naps and the sleep 
and he goes to the doctors, he's, he's healthy, Rez. There's no, and he looks young, Rez. He don't look stressed. My dad truly enjoys what he does. You ever heard about a person that dies when they stop doing what they enjoy doing? Because their body was used to that, those movements and how they, it adjusted to it. Some people built like that and that's one, dang, can I say one in a million? I, I, I'ma say that, bro, cause I'ma be real, I haven't met anybody there's not too many people, it's on, a, it's on a hand, bro. And that's why I haven't teamed up with anybody. I've been looking for somebody that work like me. Can you imagine two of you, not money hungry, coming together, work, oh my gosh. Where, where y'all at, man? Look, I'm gonna get a lot of emails and messages. Hey, that's me, that's me. Hey, if that's not really you, then don't, don't, don't write me, please. Please, save us the time. But yeah, back to the question, Rez. Can somebody sustain that with structure and order? Yeah, I would say. You know what I mean? That, that's all I can say. Also, when you're working like that, you gotta have a vision. And when you get to that vision, you eventually gotta slow down. But let me know in the comments down below, do you work like that? How often do you work? What's your vision, your dream, your goals on why you're working like that? And uh, comment it down below, y'all. All right, Wayne, so starting to look a little bit busier. Right. Can you update us on where you're at with the help? Because working seven days a week, right? I'm sure you make a lot of money, but you also have a team. You're also helping people. So for example, you still have an employee at the shop, right? Yep, my brother. Nice. And then, you used to have a receptionist. Right. Uh, you know, not anymore. Has that added a lot onto your plate? Uh, depends on where you're at with your business. If your business has an overflow, and you don't have a um, receptionist, it's a big problem. Phone calls take a lot away from your details and uh, you getting done in a timely manner. So because I don't have a receptionist right now, it slows me down tremendously. Because you have a lot of messages. You've just... actually had to answer a few phone calls during this detail. Yeah. So phone calls, messages, I get more of uh, messages than anything. Um, Instagram, Facebook, phone calls, I probably get about five to eight coming in a day. Oh, that's but, uh, not bad. Mainly getting back to messages. And if you don't get back to people right away, um, they're already on to the next person. So you have to have somebody on uh, standby to get to that kind of stuff as soon as possible. And now Wayne, you actually, you're, uh, you work very hard that you have too much business sometimes. Right. What do you do in that situation? Do you try to squeeze them in, reschedule? For example, you had a phone call earlier. Right. He wanted to book Monday. You're trying to take Monday off, schedule for Tuesday. You don't know if you're gonna give it away to somebody. Well, How does that work? Well, I away because it's a gift. I already got the money. So it'd be like I'm coming out of the pocket for that next one. How do you decide what you're gonna do yourself and what you're gonna hand off to your other detailers? Um, it's just kind of like, as you're going throughout your day, you already have it in the back of your head. So as a business person, you already got to have this stuff mapped out, talking to the people ahead of time, saying, I may need you to do this. So that's kind of how I do it. And then I call them, got a list of people that I talk to for that kind of stuff that I hand off details to. So you just got to develop a team you're comfortable with, have them come out detail with you, teach them how you detail, then bam. Send them details. You don't just give them to just random people. That's your name behind that. Have you ever had a customer be like, no, I want Wayne to come down, Hunter to come down? That's rare. Mm. Probably one out of a, out of like a hundred. All right, so they mainly everybody's, that. as long as they get a detail done right, that's all they care about? Exactly. I'm whooped and I can't give you all the energy that y'all probably want, man. And uh, sometimes it gets like that with business. Today's not a good day, y'all. But um, I'm blessed and I'm breathing and I got legs to work and arms to work, so I'm gonna be thankful. But sometimes, hey, we gotta weather those storms and, and get through it. And I'm getting some advice from a client that I'm doing this truck right here about business. So I'm gonna sign out on that note. Blessings to you guys. Keep pushing, keep striving, and uh, catch you on the next video.